hello everyone okay welcome back so right now I am going to show you my top five um, toolbox for iPhone okay so my number five is the compass itself which comes with the iPhone stock application okay so let's see what kind of useful toolbox tools that you could use with this compass okay for the engineers out there um it doesn't matter if you are a plumber if you are a construction worker if you are a woodworker or anyone anyone who like to use the tools which you already have in your pocket you can use this compass okay i don't this is a compass for navigation but it have an option this one so this one is act like a water balancer for example if you want to check the smoothness the flatness of your um, surface you can working surface you put this on your table or your working surface so if you want to see if it is totally flat and um, you would like to have a zero degree angle on your working place on your working table um, make sure it's zero until you reach zero it will show you the green yeah like that so that means a total flat of your overall surface okay so and you can use this as a water balancer that's crazy it's very easy to use as you can see there for example if I put this yeah like that if it's zero it means this this angle this um, surface is straight okay if it goes like 5 14 degrees it say you, you see that one okay so that is the useful of this compass application which is which comes along with the iPhone internal app so this is this very simple app that comes along with the iPhone so this is number five so let's go to utilities there you go so my number four application is mogul box let's go on and check it out okay so this is a torch like function as you can see um well okay let's see it have a flash light so for the torch light here you can choose the theme for your own torch like for example if you like skull or maybe I don't know that that rocket you maybe could you like skull you can pick one okay so if you turn it on there you go it's quite cool because it comes with the sound effect and the design is very well made okay so this is LEDs uh, function okay well basically I use these LEDs when you know I'm I like to travel around um, walking on the roadside basically at night uh, traveling from uh, my hometown to another place at night um, you know sometimes I pass through the, the darker place which the cars can't see if there is any anyone uh, walking on the roadside so I use this app to and for example play design like this and yeah just hold your phone and put it at hold your phone towards your back and the car will probably see uh, that there are people walking on the roadside so that's quite easy okay so okay the things that I like about this application is the self camera you see there let's check it out okay so if you like to sneak um, you know some photo maybe the one the one that you like okay I'm not a pervert okay so I'm just giving a suggestion to you guys okay you could pretend like you are reading something some articles but in the background this one is actually camera shutter and this one itself will capture the photo of the one who you like to capture for example like let's let's try okay let's try to take a photo of my bed you see um it's quite dark 
Let's take it, take it again. There you go. See? So, you can retake if you mistakenly uh, capture the photo. It will directly save in your phone. Okay? So, that's quite... Wow. That's quite easy. Okay, so, you can take as much photo as you like on the same part or maybe many part of this picture layout okay that's very cool so that is for the stealth camera so it comes along with the compass okay iPhone comes with the compass but this one also comes with the compass with the different kind of UI integration yeah it looks quite uh, cool than iPhone but I prefer the iPhone stock compass rather than this, this one okay so this is just in a you know add-on feature with this application so it also have a water level okay so you you can use the internal iPhone compass app or you can use this tool, toolbox mogo toolbox uh, as a water level but it, it's it comes with you yeah, yeah just a limited like this but it can't stand I don't know can it spin okay it can't spin so it means it can only check whether the flatness of the surface or maybe just like this so it can't take it you know you don't have much option with that okay so that's for the water level so the surface analyzer oh now I know okay now it is the surface analyzer so you see that a small animal down there a minute, you can see. Hmm. I don't know, I can't focus. There you go. So you see that small animal in the middle? If it sits in the middle of that, in the center, that means your total surface is zero. Zero angle, zero angle for x and y axis. So that is for this surface analyzer. Okay. So it comes with ruler, yes, people use a ruler to measure your things. For example, if you want to measure your SD card, um, basically I used to measure my um, SD card, my pen drive, thumb drive, any kind of SIM card so I know, or my passport photo so that I know the size of, act the actual size of that, um, but it is limited to a small uh, object. So. Yeah, but it's quite cool, you know, see? It shows, it measures an Y axis, an X axis, there you go. 3.6 for this, this X axis and 4.83 for Y axis. So you know what you are measuring, okay? So the last one is protector. Okay, so this protector, mm, it comes with a camera function, so if you if you don't know how to measure the angle of the object live so you just click on that camera button over there so you go you got the angle live view so that you can manage the angle of your project or something like that but this is not well accurate rather than using the compass of the iPhone just now I think that's more accurate because it shows you the angle when you put that uh, on an inclined surface or something like that so so that's it for this mogul toolbox so my top three application is work Zoik which is German application for the engineer for the worker out there you know plumber uh, yeah anyone like that it's very handy if you have this application because it comes a lot of features so it have a bar scanner yeah like that so that is the bar scanner okay that is so the protector yes this one is accurate than the Mogo Toolbox protector because the Mogo Toolbox protector it's it you need to interact with the screen 
but not with the sensor inside this smartphone so this one if you put for example this one is set to zero so when you lay down you know okay this one is set 270 degrees angle so zero if you put this you get 90 degrees angle like that so quite easy so let's go back and see what kind of tools they have so it comes along with me okay so it comes along with the water level okay so yeah this one got a lot of um, features rather than the mogul toolbox just now it, the mogul toolbox come along with just one option uh, one view of this but this one it have four view four of it so you get you are flexible to measure any kind of angle or surface yeah that's cool okay so let's go back okay it have a caliper yes this tools toolbox have a caliper so basically I use this um, to measure my cut reader for my laptop yeah it's very accurate and yeah it shows there a live view live view of your uh, measured value so you see yeah so that's how it works yeah but it's still limited to a small um, small size of object okay so that is for the caliper so how about the other tools okay so this they got a plumb line um, well basically I don't know what is the function of this plumb line uh, whether to measure the straightness of the object or something and this one I don't know maybe you guys out there have been working out uh, using a plumb line and you would like to prefer using this app it is good for you so let's go back okay so we got we also got a flashlight okay this one this flashlight is different than the flashlight in the mogul toolbox and the stock um, iOS flashlight this one is quite different okay it comes along with the SOS function for example if I turn on the flashlight it's just normal okay normal but when you turn click on the SOS button there you go it sends out the Morse code of the flashlight as an SOS signal that's cool so if you uh, maybe you are getting trapped into you know dark mm, into the cave or something and you, you expect people to see you and you want to give a signal that you need an SOS response from them use this button and there you go it's a lifesaver app okay so the next is calculator everyone needs a calculator right iOS comes along with the calculator but this one is quite cheesy it's very compact and it comes along with exponential function ln function cos sine tangent sqrt and sqy I don't know but yeah it's a basic calculator that you use in your daily life you can beat that um, iPhone stock application I think yeah so okay lastly is the photo note okay so the photo note um, you add your photo for example if you have a receipt receipt or maybe um, you would like to take a note on the phone number or the, the business card or maybe the label of the um, project I don't know you capture your photo and add the photo here and you can draw or make a note or text and write it down and save it yeah. yeah so that's cool okay so that's it for this application so my top two application is utility box so let's go and check it out so okay utility box it seems quite um quite have it have a small features normal flashlight flashlight is just a normal flashlight oh it it crashes okay flashlight it's just a normal flashlight oh damn 
right now it, it started to start to make a problem okay i can't turn on the flashlight okay uh -huh. it's okay so it, it have a password num or number generator so if you are uh, if you like to change your password frequently um wi-fi password or maybe like that you can see for example password length eight so wi-fi password is eight so you just tick what kind of option that you want and click generate password it will generate a password for you so you go for example like this so you keep it safe and change the password frequently as you like so that's latitude longitude and altitude i think this one is useful for the pokemon go user i don't know mm, i never tried this one before but, but if you are you are there who who played pokemon go and would like to try this app I think this is cool or maybe you, are, you would like to link this lo latitude longitude with your google map application i think this is the one that you should use okay so for the score counter yes if you are playing sports uh, maybe you know ad hoc you you don't expect someone to uh, to ask you to record to count their um you know score to count your score but you don't you do somehow you forgot your score so you use this app for example add second player okay so you add second player so there you go so yeah when for example this they get red corner blue corner and you got the red corner got one score so you get add like that the second one this blue corner got one score so you get add so you like that it'll be like that easy okay so it also comes with a converted weight angle area so this one is quite useful for the engineer out there or for the worker out there who use this kind of thing you don't like to stress up your brain to push to your limit to calculate it so it this one makes it easy for you to access and calculate anything that you like force length power speed pressure so for example power yeah you have a lot of things horsepower watts kilowatts you put one value here you will show every value here so that's cool okay so that's for convert so the battery status is just show your battery level for your iphone that's normal so metronome for the musicians out there i don't know this one is for musician mu musicians sorry but yeah this is it so you swing it yeah just like that so this tip calculator maybe works for someone who works um at the hotel restaurant who like to calculate their tip um, it shows the percentage or 10% tip, 15% tip, 20% tip. I don't use this, but maybe it will be useful for you out there. Okay, finally, my top one application is mechanical engineering toolbox. There you go. See, mechanical engineering toolbox. Okay, so it's it seems like whoa, that's a small. That's just small piece of shit but no not okay this one is very very cool if you click unit conversion it have a lot of it you can convert anything to i don't know anything okay volume what else torque thermal expansion temperature surface tension blah 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 very very much they got a lot of function here you may use it okay so fits and tolerances iso mm, i don't know yet what this is okay maybe i don't learn it yet about this um section okay so for the engineering material student or the engineer who care about the hardness of their material this is it so i don't know um what i don't study yet about this kind of thing but someone out there who see this may may know how to use it properly on how to use on this perfect situation so this one is material properties okay this one guys um if you are learning about material 
in your college or university this one is very cool okay if you like to choose for example ceramic it shows you every detail of it the density elastic modulus everything that's cool about this everything it, it, it's in this here aluminum titanium uranium okay so the pipe sizes um, yeah this one I don't know what exactly I think it's for plumber yeah pipe sizes okay so the electrical power calculator okay this one guys is very cool okay if you are you know the basic PIV okay that's you can calculate it in your brain but somehow you you don't you don't manage to calculate a bigger value so you just put the value here for example if you want to calculate the current put the value of power for example I got a 20 kilowatt power 20 okay and I got a 240 voltage and click calculate you will get the current value and also this one have comes along with a single phase calculator and a three phase calculator which I learned in a motor induction motor I use this a lot for a single phase put the value there and you click calculate you get the value that you want if you have cost and current and voltage you'll get the value of power so the same goes to the AC3 um, three phase you can use it to calculate it comes along with the formula so you can double check with this app and the formula whether it's the same or not if you're quite confident with it you can go straight using this app okay so the torque power conversion so you want to find the torque value so you put the rated speed you put the power and you get the torque if you have the value of torque and the value of speed you put there and you get the value of power simple this is the formula so you can double check it to make a confirmation and if you like it you can continue using this app steel bolt packs okay there are a lot of kind of bolts here a lot of kind of I don't know sizes um, you can if you know what this is you may like to use this app so bolt torque calculator so different bolt sizes different bolt material um, needs a different kind of torque that you need to apply on it so basically this is it you can calculate the torque for that specific bolt yes so this is the right angle formula it's it's the basic that we learned from the high school okay so if you got the value of a and b you want to find the value of hypotenuse which is r put the value at a and b and click calculate and you get the value for example a I, my a is 20 and my b is 30 so if I click calculate there you go I got the value of hypotenuse and the value of the angle simple okay and lastly is trigonometric functions this is also basic for example sine you put there and sine 45 click calculate there you go you get the value if you go to cos calculate There you go, you got value for the result that you want in degrees. Okay, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy watching my video, please give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Jane.